Hello, my name is Ashley Sexton, and this is my fourth and final professional development video. First question I have to answer is what improvements I am aware of in regards to my responses for constructive criticism. Um, <laughs> I would say one improvement I've definitely made was asking more questions and not being afraid to ask what I would typically think is a stupid question because you never know who also has the same question. Um, another improvement I would say is getting comfortable with like talking through things, uh, not being afraid to ask, like obviously ask more questions, but to go into detail and to kind of put pieces together. Everyone's willing to work with us and everyone's willing to put their brains together. It's more of a team effort and I wasn't expecting that going in the program. I kind of thought it was like an all fend for yourself type of deal, but we're definitely a team. We're definitely a cohort and everyone's willing to help out so there's no like judgment in the classroom something i will definitely start doing to maintain my improvements are um writing questions down that i think about i sometimes will think of a question and i'll be like oh darn like i can't figure this out and then i'll just kind of move on and try to f come back to it later when i could just write it down and ask it in class um, another thing that I'll do to maintain my improvements, so, uh, like, being able to talk through things with, uh, my peers, so being, coming to class prepared, um, I think I did a pretty good job with that throughout the most of the semester, but definitely, like, kind of going more into detail about things, not just reading the chapter, but also putting the pieces together before coming to class, um, I think will not only help me, but will also help my peers around me, and uh, that's what we're looking for. We are a team here, so. Two ways that those improvements will help me in the clinical setting and for helping with my professional care with patients coming outside of school and working in a clinical setting um, definitely would be teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Um, we would everyone puts their brains together and again there's no stupid questions so I lay everything flat on the table so that you know everything that you need to do with a patient and you know everything that you need to know about a patient beforehand before treatment that will give you the best outcome for a patient being prepared is definitely uh what's the word i'm looking for it's definitely a like a common theme amongst uh, the program that I wasn't expecting. Uh, before coming and before going to your assigned times and your assigned patients, it's always best to be coming prepared. Um, last minute kind of uh, putting everything together can only result in uh, mistakes and it's never on purpose, but it can always be prevented. So definitely teamwork and being prepared. This class helped me change a lot about what I thought school would be for becoming a PTA. I mean, I obviously was working in the clinic before I came into school, so I kind of got to see how everyone works. And I knew it was a teamwork thing, but I didn't realize how much teamwork it actually is, not only just amongst you and the patient and you and your peers, but also with you and the PT and the doctors that are associated with one patient. Um, I didn't expect that coming into this class. I also wasn't expecting to have to be prepared before class. Um, I usually was a last minute student, not gonna lie, so uh, it's definitely creating more healthy habits and I actually feel a lot better coming into class knowing that I know what I'm talking about and that we can really get into depth and conversation in lecture and lab knowing what we're going to go over before class instead of starting from a fresh slate and then kind of having to roll from there, giving an idea of what we're going to do in class. Um, <coughs> I also it changed my perspective on um, time management. I know I'm not the best with my time management, and I know that I work a lot, so it's kind of hindered me with this program. Um, so it really showed me everything that I could handle within the program. Uh, knowing my limits was definitely something that I didn't really know was going to be that hard of a challenge because I've always been a person to kind of bite on bite more than I can chew <laughs> and uh, it was definitely a eye-opener this semester in a good way though um, knowing my limitations is 
not something that I thought was going to change, but uh, this class definitely showed me that I need to take care of myself first and I need to be more proactive, uh, even though I really try to. <laughs> I could definitely do a better job of it. Uh, efforts are always appreciated, but actions speak louder than words. So that is something I'm taking for the rest of the program for sure.